Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the uh, 9th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's bring up the stats. Uh, European markets certainly under pressure, or led by Asian sell off. Although the sell-off wasn't ex exactly as substantial as uh, one could, it could have been, the uh, the actual Shanghai only closing down six points, the Hang Seng down 0.3, nothing as substantial as the uh, U.S. markets, and the Nikkei closing down 1.3 percent. That's mainly on the back of a stronger yen, given taper talk. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Uh, U.S. markets very strange yesterday. Jolts openings, uh, jobs uh, certainly uh, rallied on the back of that, and then obviously reversed everything on the back of Mr. Trump's scaremongering, talking about fire and fury. It's very like an amateur, basically. Okay, so basically, European markets at present, FTSE down 60 points, DAX down 144, DAX giving back almost all the, the gains it made from Friday's post NFP. French CAC down almost, uh, what, but down substantially the most, down 1.7%, FTSE may buy backs, all certainly under under immense pressure and strain, okay? Uh, in terms of economic data this morning, we've had stronger Italian orders, industrial output and data certainly coming in stronger than expected. Chinese inflation data out overnight, slightly came on the weaker side. Okay, that's certainly following in line with the, the previous day's imports and export numbers that certainly came out on the worse, certainly uh, worse than expected. Okay, so this is where we stand. Now, other than that, economic data-wise, Nothing of any major importance. We have got how you Canadian housing stats and uh, U.S. labor per data, uh, non-farm productivity labor costs. Then we have uh, Canadian building permits, wholesale inventories. Oil data will be uh, quite uh, volatile, so watch out for half past three. When the oil data comes out, that should certainly sway the markets. Okay, let's go to the technical picture now. German DAX at present. Okay, if I just quickly go and give you a 60-minute snapshot here, you can see that yeah, we certainly pushed as high as um, 12,320 post NFP. Okay, and it certainly seems like we've certainly given it all back. Um, now, you certainly have exceeded FIB 75%, so you're back into the horizontal support at 12,100 and 12,120 now. So that's basically where you are. Yesterday, obviously, we know the market certainly pushed higher on the, uh, and uh, certainly closed up to uh, 12,320. And today, we've certainly gapped down and then obviously moved lower even further. So... Uh, again, you have support at uh, 12,120 on the German DAX. Certainly keep that in, uh, in the back of your mind. Okay, again, looking to potentially push higher, close the gap. Certainly looking for bullish price action here on the uh, the actual uh, German DAX. Okay, moving on to the French CAC now. French CAC certainly under pressure, uh, sold off quite substantially. Daily chart at the moment, certainly more of an inside bar from my perspective, given the recent rally on Friday. 60 minute chart, we've certainly flushed quite substantially. We're back into that FIB 75% retracement now. You do have support here at 5120. Obviously, support further down at 5090. Certainly looking to potentially bounce, especially given the unfilled gap above. 10 minute chart. Certainly, certainly oversold from my perspective. Again, horizontal support looking to bounce here. This is an area that you'd certainly get a bounce. Okay. Uh, and again, looking to potentially test the uh, the highs there at 5220 and potentially close the gap as well. Okay, so that's where we stand there. In terms of the FTSE 100, double bottom scenario intraday. Okay, we hit a pivot high yesterday at 7550 and that certainly has been reversed now quite almost by 75 points quite substantially. And we've certainly come to uh, a standstill here or coming to support here at 7480. If that were to crack, then you're looking at 7465 as the next potential support. On the FTSE 100. Okay, uh, in terms of the 60 minute charts, give you an insight here as well. You do have this key diagonal trend line, certainly expect it to hold. You're approaching that 50% retracement, you're into 38%. Okay, so again, one would argue you are looking to bounce here, potentially retest that 7500 zone, and certainly push higher to 7520 if we can, and ultimately gap fill above. So let's keep watching the um, US markets and see how they perform okay uh, last but not least euro stocks euro stocks certainly is the weakest really i'd say out of all the indices quite substantially especially given the fact that we hit 3525 yesterday and now you can see that we're languishing back down at 3460 today so that's quite a substantial sell-off we failed to hold the key support down here at 3490 and then obviously we just continue to sell off so let's see if we can manage to bounce here so you're looking for a short squeeze 
Okay, so looking for a short squeeze on the uh, on the actual markets themselves. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.